Hi, in this lesson, we're going to learn how to get input from the user in order to make our programs interactive. At this point, we have everything we need to keep track of the building dimensions and make the needed calculations. For the final product, Precision Roofing needs a program that can get dimensions from a customer and use those values in the calculation. Specifically, it needs to input the dimensions in yellow in order to calculate the quantities in red. Let's discuss how to get user input in Python. It's super easy. Introducing the input function. The input function prompts the user to enter a response. To write it in Python, we type input in the prompt we want the user to see. The string inside the function is the prompt. When I run this, you'll see the prompt, and the program is waiting for the user to enter a response. More often than not, we want to store the response in a variable to be able to use that response later in the program. A couple of important points here about the input function. The user response is stored in the variable as a string. We use the int function to convert the string into an integer if desired. So what's the int function? The int function is the opposite of the string function. It converts a string value into an integer. With this program, I'm prompting the user to enter the number of boxes. As written, a string is stored in box count, since that's the default input. The print statement will produce an error. Remember, you can't perform math with a string. By incorporating the int function, this now converts the user response, which is a string, into an integer before storing it in the box count variable. Now let's run this. If the user enters 5 boxes, the output will be 10. Let's incorporate user input into our geometry programs to make them interactive. In this example, We'll incorporate user input to calculate the area and perimeter of a rectangle. Instead of assigning the values of the length and width, we will ask the user for these values. So we can write input, enter the length of the rectangle for the length variable. And similarly for the width, we will write input, enter the width of the rectangle. Okay, so let's run the code and see what happens. Okay, so let's say the length is six and the width is eight. Oh no, we get an error. The reason why we have this error is because by default, input values are strings. So the input of the length and width need to be converted to integers to allow us to calculate the area and perimeter calculations. To do this, we add the int function around the input functions, like this. So we write int and wrap the parentheses around. Let's rerun the code to see the results. Again, I'm going to write 6 for the length and 8 for the width. Great! That fixed the error and we got the results we needed. Now it's your turn to explore this example.